One, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Ada Patricia. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm better. Doing a lot better. Okay. Still a little bit tired, but eh. I'm okay. Eh, eh, pregunta de cómo ha estado de salud. How have you been? How how have you been? Yeah, yeah. just I mean it's is in context that I have been sick, but um how's how's your how's your health doing? How's your health doing? Could be an option. That could be an option. How have you, how has your health been? How has your health been? How have you been doing? How's your health doing? How's your health doing? That's what I will say. I'm doing better. It's just that, you know, ever since I was a kid, I used to crack my neck mm -hmm. like that. Since I was a kid, all the time. Crack, crack. And okay, I'm fine. But now with this other job that I have, I I don't move. Sometimes I'm, I'm like staring at the screen without moving. And then, and suddenly, and this is the problem, that my neck started, started cracking by itself. You know, I'm just without moving and suddenly, I'm like, oh my God, but this is on the top of my head here, okay. not here. But here on the back, you know that you, your head, your head joins your your spine on your neck, and there there are no bones. There are no bones where the head joins the spine, like this. Where the head joins the spine, there are no bones. It's just muscle. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that my my that part that part is like this. Mm -hmm. There are just some tissue, some muscles there, and that is what is cracking, you know, so uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I imagine, Tisha. Yeah. And the problem is that it's an unwilling movement. It's, it's un movimiento involuntario in, out of the sudden, you know, to see that it's spontaneo, de la nada, truena el cuello, it's like, uh, <laughs> That hurts. 
So, es, but, es, es sabroso que le truene a uno ciertas partes, ¿verdad? Pero llega, a mí me ha sucedido, yo, ya estoy, yo tenía la maña de tronarme los dedos, pero ya no puedo porque se me quedan así como engarrotados. Entonces sí, me quedo. A, a mí me ocurre eso con este dedo, con, con el dedo este, no sé, el anular. Uh -huh. Por este, esta cosa que tengo, que es como un túnel carpiano, ya, pero de ahí radica que la circulación no pasa bien a este dedo. Entonces, si trato de apoyar esta mano, <ríe> este dedo sí, siempre. Sí, fíjese que, así, rápido, como no hemos empezado clase, pero a mí me pasó eso desde que estamos, desde que me, desde que me vacuné la cuarta dosis de COVID, quedé con ese problema. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo, yo sé que no es eso, pero a mí lo que, yo lo que he notado es que como que me resecó, me, me, me deshidrató el cuerpo. Entonces, si yo bebo agua, agua, se me quita ese dolor. Pero si yo dejo de beber, es automático que el dedo me duele. Todo tiene que ver, todo tiene que ver, sí. Y a veces amanezco dormido, porque mi posición para dormir siempre de chiquito ha sido boca abajo, abrazando uh -huh. la almohada. Y así he dormido siempre. Entonces, eh, a veces amanezco y con la mano hecha puño y hago esto. <risa> Y no, él se queda ahí, ese dedo se queda ahí. Uh -huh. Y lo trato de extrabar, por ejemplo, ahorita. Y ahí está. <risa> Pero que... yo le digo, yo nunca había, sos... nunca había tenido eso. Después de la vacuna fue que quedé así. Y me duele mucho. Mucho. I know. No, pero yo, yo ya, ya estoy que estoy rebajando y empecé a hacer ejercicio, caminar por lo menos. It's very important. Yeah, you have to. Ah. Be flexible. Try to be as flexible as, as possible. Okay, guys. So I'm sorry if I gave you some vacations, <laughs> unwanted vacations, because you you didn't you didn't have classes Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right? Right. Three days. Oh my God. How do you feel? Me no me no habla me no habla inglés. Bored, teacher. Bored? Yeah, <laughs> really? A Bored. clown? Yes. So, so I'm a clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, no, you say, if you say so. <laughs> we were worried. worried. Yeah? We're you were worried. worried? Yeah, we were worried about your health. <laughs> No, no, but I'm young. I'm still pollón. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. So, okay, let's let's start today. We have to cover some, well, remember some things that we started before. Mr. Yeah, this is like three. Okay. So uh, tonight we have to discuss more uh, vocabulary about what we saw on last Friday. Do you remember last Friday? No. <laughs> no. Oh my God. <laughs> it's on your WhatsApp. Just go go back on your WhatsApp, and you'll find um, the last video that I uploaded. Um, but well, actually, no. Um, just right above, right above that link, you will see um, multiple things, right? Most of all, because on Friday we played a lot of games. Actually, for oh, the yeah. ones, yeah, for the ones that were not present on Friday, I'm so sorry. You missed the fun. You missed the fun. We we played crosswords. Um, we learn some vocabulary about ethics. So review that while I'm doing the attendance, okay? Because I'm, I'm about to make you questions about last class. Please turn on your camera just for a minute. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. <laughs> and Anselmi Chévez. Not here tonight. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. 
Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Where's Carla? Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Oh, here, here comes Ana Selmi. Okay. I was scared already. Okay. Um, Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Nelson, if you can hear us, say present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. No. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Hey, thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Not here tonight. Okay. So tell me, just tell me words that you remember from last Friday. If you check your WhatsApp, you will find a lot of vocabulary. Come on, come on. Come on, guys. Vocabulary from Friday. Yes, according teacher. to the yeah, I'm according sorry. to the cross, to the cross also. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> according to the cross crossroad. Crosswords. Cross yeah. Um, there's one um, values, morals, ethics, conduct, unethical. Unethical behaviors. Un, unethical, 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 unethical behaviors. 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 Yeah. Behaviors. Yes. There you go. Unethical behaviors. Unethical, unethical behaviors. Hmm. What do you consider an unethical behavior? Let's talk about what is ethical first. What is ethics? We mentioned that a little bit. What is ethics? Ethics are the values that a person mm -hmm. holds, ha has, uh -huh. has mm -hmm. that a person have, have or has. I don't know. Have. You tell me. Oh, I have value. I have value. <laughs> no, I don't know. You tell me you're asking me, have or has? A person? Yes. <laughs> has. A person? Has. Has. OK. Has. Yes. <laughs> Dentro de un minuto voy a poner una presentación y vamos a usar una dinámica para leer esa presentación. Okay. En la cual ustedes me van a ir deteniendo y me van a decir, teacher, ethic, teacher, have. Y esa es la palabra incorrecta dentro del texto, ¿ok? Porque hay bastantes errores dentro de esa presentación. Su misión va a ser identificar errores graf gramaticales. So, yeah, a person has, ¿ok? Values that a person has, Rosalena. Yes. For example. For example, um, um, oh my God. Um, honesty. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, honesty. Uh, punctual, punctuality. 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 And trust. Mm. Trust. Trust. Mm. Mm. Reliability. No, really. yeah. Reliability. Responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah. Mm. What else? Um, punctuality. Help, help, Rosalena, guys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> help me. <laughs> I feel younger after these two days resting. <laughs> okay, come on. Someone you can trust, but you're talking as a person. Loyalty teacher, integrity. Loyalty? Integrity. 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 Yes. Integrity. Mm -hmm. integrity. Yeah. I, I do what I say, I say what I do. Exactly. I do what I say, I say what I do. Okay, yeah. integrity. So values, are those all positive values? 
Is there bad ethics and good ethics or just ethics? So going back to the question, what is then an ethical behaviors? What do you understand by unethical behaviors? Mm. Something that goes against your values. Come on, think, think. Rosalina, sorry. Uh, something unethical behaviors is something that is is oh my god it's again it's again the, the it's against the person i don't know how can explain that <laughs> it's just think I, think think of what you said everybody said uh, yeah ethics is just values right what is good what is good behavior how to behave as a person you learn that from childhood those are ethics okay now what would be unethical? What about? For example, I imagine, or oh, I have the idea, uh, an unethical behavior can be uh, at work. Uh, talking about about work, uh, when I um, when I act when I act in aggress aggressively against uh, against your coworkers. Yes, or my supervisor. Okay. For example, mm -hmm. that's for me. Excellent. Anybody else? When your actions are different to to values the uh, principles you were i thought you were about to say when your behavior contradicts oh contradicts what yes. you say and you're going again with a what did we say i do what i say i said what i do in when your actions when your actions for example guys let's make it simple uh, let's say that I always, I have always told you actually that I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink beers. And one day you find me in La Zona Rosa, right? Drunk. And I go, like, hey, what's up, Virginia? How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Wait, the teacher, you said, right? Is that an ethical behavior? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my God, come on, guys. We don't want to talk. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk mm, anymore. But depend, teacher, because the respect mm. about the action the other person is part of the ethical it's... because, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. When I, how do you say, huge, Fusco? I judge. I just, judge. It's not a good point. I, I judge the other person. Oh, what you're trying to say, what you're trying to say is that judging others. Judging, yes. Is not. Judging other person. Moral. It's not the behavior. Ethical. Is not a. It's not an ethical behavior. Is an ethical it's, behavior. Is yeah. not a. Is not an ethical behavior. In my opinion. In my opinion. That, that's something that we are we are taught as children, right? Don't judge people. I mean, that's not okay. Stop judging others. Judge yourself. And yes. In my judging. point, is different the way. Oh, different the situation mm -hmm. when mm, 
the person paying the other per, the other people. Mm, can you elaborate a little bit? When the person eh, do pain? Hurt. Hurt, yes. Hurt when the other people for me. Not acceptable. It's not acceptable when, let's say, a coworker hurts another yes. coworker with its uh, words or yes, physically. In, in your example, mm -hmm. you say, ah, what happened if you um, saw, saw me in situation the drunk? Yeah, if I find you drunk, yeah. I will judge you, right? And go like, hey, yes. you send me. And then I go yes. with Rosalina. Hey, Rosalina. Yeah. My, my reaction, hi, teacher. Bye. <laughs> Take her, take her, teacher. Take care, and then call Rosalina, right? Rosalina, I have oh, a gossip please. for you. Oh my God, this is hot please. right now. Okay. Yeah. Did please teacher. call you. Call an, an Uber, please. <laughs> oh, good. That that's even ethical. Good job, and I said that's a good ethics example. Um, you don't care. You don't judge someone. Instead, you help the person, and you go like. Well, the teacher is strong, AR, and he's alone. <gasps> teacher, let me call an Uber. Okay, I'll call an Uber for you. Where Where do you live? And I'm too drunk. I'm extremely drunk. I don't know. I can't remember my house or whatever, right? Give me your cell phone. Let me call somebody to pick you up. I mean, that's still even better. <laughs> you think about it. If that really happens, I don't drink. Okay, I don't drink. I swear. Okay. Counterfeit. I remember the word counterfeit. Mm -hmm. Counterfeiting has to do with this. When um, when an employee steals money from its employer, that's it has a different name and it's related to counterfeiting. Counterfeiting. Okay. So there were many words on last Friday. I can't believe you you don't want to talk. You don't, you don't want to talk. I mean, after two days, definitely we don't talk anymore, right? We don't talk anymore. Let's review this really quick. Okay. So, empezamos con el ejercicio, la dinámica. Van a poner atención a la proyección y, uh, porfa, participemos. Okay. Recuerden que pueden utilizar las herramientas de Zoom para manchar la, la pantalla si ven alguna, algún error gramatical ahí. Okay. It's just text. So let's identify any errors on this. So what is ethics? Kenya, will you please read? Yes. <laughs> um, it is a baseline for what is wrong and right. Ethic help us to have a ready understanding of how to react to cert certain certain situation before it happens uh without it our actions will be aimless and random ethic it's required in human life they act as your mediator i don't know how to pronounce that you did mediator it. when dealing with people if we have wrong sense of ethics uh we will react to people in negative manner excellent and you did it Mediator, that's right. Like Pepe, the Gasper, grass, 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 Gasper. Wait, grass, Gasper. Yes. Yeah, I just saw Pinocchio again, Pinocchio, but with Tom Hanks and. Eh. Yeah. What version teacher? Because there are mm -hmm. a lot of versions. Yeah, that's the latest version with Tom Hanks, but I didn't like the 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 end, last part. It was it's not the same. Okay, so any grammatical errors in this text? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, mm -hmm. what is ethic? Mm -hmm. Because in this case, ethics is a plural. Yes. Yes, you got it. So ethics should be with an S at the end. Ethics. Without S. What do you mean? Yes, ethical? No, no, no. It's okay. Ethics. Ethics. I what mean. Are? 
Oh, no, it's okay. What is? I mean, you can say having ethic. It not that doesn't make sense. You have to say having ethics or ethics help us because this will, I mean, ethics will be they, right? They, the plural form, ethics help us. I cannot say ethic helps us. That's wrong. The ethic is, an, is, is not a noun, singular a noun, teacher. A singular ethic. noun. Yeah. Let, let's think in Spanish. Yes. Do, do we say ética or ética? No, I mean, in Etica. general. Ética. La ética, right? Ethics. Yeah, right. Well, in English, it has to be ethics. Mm -hmm. Where's What are your ethics? Where's your ethics, right? It's It has to be in plural. Now, totally, I, I agree with you. We're missing the S on this word. Ethics help us to have a ready understanding of how to react to certain situation before it happens. That's right. Without it, our actions will be aimless. Can somebody define the word aimless, please? Come on, guys. I'm testing you right now, so please do your best right now. Show me what you can do. Aimless. The use the capital letter. No. Oh no! I mean, yeah, that that's incorrect, right? No capital okay. letter. Aimless, aimless, aim, aimless <laughs> is something without purpose. Something without purpose. Love right. Yeah, or the or purpose or direction. Direction. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, synonym. Mm, my God. Hmm. Let what's the root? What's the root? Aim. Aim. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay. And the diminisher here is less. No target. Oh yes. Like a point. Bullet like point, a, yeah. Target. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Aim. Aimless. Aimless, yes. Aimless, aimless. Without it, our actions will be. Okay, so there's no sense, right, of the direction. There's you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going. What's your What's your? Oh my God, your goal. Your target, definitely. That's it. There's no target. No target. Okay no goal okay that's the meaning of aimless and random random somebody can somebody define random it's a selection the, uh -huh, a selection and you say a sad yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a selection without discrimination, right? You, you just select something yeah. just, just because, without, without a yeah. reason, selecting something without a reason. Okay, ethic, hmm. I don't like the way it sounds. Ethic, ethical behavior is required in human life. That sounds better, right? Or ethics are required in human life. That and this is the point, Anna said me. You cannot mention ethic in singular because ethics, as we started already, it involves a lot of values. I mean, it's not just yeah. one. So yeah, it sounds weird to say ethic. Okay, it's requiring human life. Okay, they, and, and this is the funny part. They continue with Pluto. Mm. Yeah. Well, they act as your mediator when dealing with people. If we have wrong sense, if we have wrong sense of ethics, this is wrong. Okay, no apostrophe, right? 
If we have wrong sense of ethics, we will react to people in negative manner. Okay, so far so good. Let's move on to the next slide. Hey, come on guys, help me. Is, is with the red reduction teacher. I know, I know, and I found it and I was like, man, we have to use the, this. The capital letters. Yes, you, good reduction, bad eyes, reduction. Is, uh, <laughs> I know, and the colors, yeah, it's okay. But it's gonna help us right now so we can learn. So, oh, Adita, can you continue or can you read this or is it too too small, too bright? Okay. The code a moral principle and values that govern, govern the behavior of a person or a group regarding what is right and wrong. This moral code revolves around establishing values and principles and might not and might not be same from culture to culture. In it includes science, morality, morality, and human act. Excellent. Good job. Hey, repeat with me. Behaviors. 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 Very good. Better. Values. 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 Perfect. Culture. 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 Better. De tarea, escuche canciones de the culture club. Okay. Come on, 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 You come and go, right? Or even better, do you really want to hurt me? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Culture club. Hey, sometimes, and again, when there's a T in the middle of two vowels, then you have a an R, a soft R, and you say Hola, it, it includes. Buenas noches. It includes. <laughs> it, it includes science. Arita, it includes science. It includes science. Mm -hmm. Morality. 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 Perfect, morality. And human acts, and human acts. Any grammatical error, guys? No, right, this is right, right? That was said by Socrates. The code of moral principles and values that govern the behaviors of a person or a group regarding what is right and wrong. So we are governed by these values if you haven't noticed, right? And, and it's very important that you keep this in mind because without these moral values, we are nothing but animals. It sounds raw, it sounds rough, I mean, cruel, but that's the truth. Without these values, I mean, we will behave like animals, definitely. So see the importance of this? Let's continue, let's see. Uh, like, Okay, what is, and this is the topic for today. What are managerial ethics? Who would like to read? Walter, would you like to try? Walter's gone, microphone, okay. Adriana, would you like to try managerial ethics? Okay, Manag managerial ethics is just about decision what is right and proper, proper and just in connection with other people. It is not only a question about bravery, bravery, theft, and collusion it mainly about relationship between customer supply and a stockholder on one side and managers and subordinators in other side on other side mm -hmm. okay good job arena thank you managerial ethics is just about decision mm. That sounds weird, right? About decision, what is right 
and proper and just in connection with other people. So Socrates used to say that if you have a gossip and you want to tell someone this gossip, there are three things, three questions that you have to make to yourself before you spread the gossip, you have to ask to yourself, is this going to benefit the person? Okay. Is this going to benefit the person? Number two, um, is this true or a lie? Is this true? or a lie. And number three, will I hurt somebody or help somebody if I say this? A ver, ¿quién me entendió esto que les acabo de decir? Someone? Oh my God, teacher. Siento que está en la universidad en clase de filosofía. Uh, yeah. In the, the, the situation that you say is related to when uh, a person say a gossip, say you a gossip. Uh -huh, tells you a gossip, uh -huh. And the reflection when you receive the gossip, uh, the three questions. Mm -hmm. You have to make a reflection about these three questions. Right, so just look look for it. It's something like that, but it's on TikTok, in other places. I think it was so Socrates, but it, it's it's very important if you are going to help somebody. For example, in your company, if you find a coworker stealing money from the company, and it's your friend, he or she is your friend. Yeah. Will you tell? Will you tell your boss? Gabriel Alejandra, what will you do if you find a friend, a co-worker stealing money? Mm, maybe I I ask him or her uh, why she or, or he is doing that action and Mm, I don't know. Mm, I think it's, it's wrong to uh, keep this, this secret because it's not a good action. So, wow. I think that. <laughs> exactly. It's difficult. It's yeah. so maybe, difficult. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, teacher, I try to, to motivate. He know her mm -hmm. <laughs> that the my friend, uh, how do you say, con, con, confi confess, 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 uh, the action, the action in the yeah. first. It's important the the determinate a term because. I, I agree with Gab the, the Gab Gabriela's comment related to the when you when you keep a secret a secret mm -hmm. a secret teacher you are part of that situation yes it's true it's not good so, uh -huh, Carlita well, good evening good evening Teacher, uh, I went through an um, experience uh, oh, many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, my best friends in the office uh, stole some money, uh, some money, and the auditor asked me to consolidate the information of the of the store. It was very difficult for me because in this moment. She was my, my best friend in the office, but my 
loyally with the company. Don't permit that I I tell tell she she the that all in the company know about the their stall. They're stealing. Oh my god. Wow. Was was very difficult for me in this moment because I I don't know uh, can I behavior uh, with she? You didn't it, know how it, to how to behave with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behave, uh -huh. How to yes. how to treat how to treat her after that? Yeah. ¿Cómo tratarla okay. después de eso? Uh -huh. it, it really, because in this moment, um, I, I, I say, I, I say, self. Uh, Talk with she, uh -huh. uh, uh, with her, uh, or or no, because the auditor is possible being that uh, I too stole with he because with her, uh, mm -hmm. with her, yeah, with her because all now now that she the, the relationship she. With she and me. With her and me. <laughs> with her and me. Okay. <laughs> yes, I easy. know. It's very difficult. I mean, not in vain, right? Tell me who are your friends and I will tell you who you are. Tell me who are your friends and I'll tell you who you are. So it's the same thing, right? Okay. Um, any grammar mistakes here? Managerial ethics is just about decision. Decision, what is, is does that make sense to you? It's just about decision, what is right and proper and just in connection with other people. What are we missing here? Managerial ethics is just about A decision. Hmm. It's just about a decision. What is right and proper and just? Aren't we missing something else? A decision. Or decisions in plural. Hmm. About decisions. Hmm. What is? I don't know. It's there's something missing. Managerial ethics is just about. Making decisions. Making decisions, yeah. Okay, what between right. between what is wrong. Or what about, it's just about deciding what is right and proper deciding. and just. Deciding what is right and proper and just. Yeah, there are many ways of saying things, but this one is not the best. Okay, it is not only question. It's, it is not only question. It is not only questioning, or it is not only a, not a question a about mm -hmm, bribery, theft, yes. and collusion. What is collusion, anybody? Yes, the collusion is when the people, um, people are according about a, the specific action. They agree. They agree, but it's, they- It's like a conspiracy. Or confu, con, a conspiracy. Confu, con, no, están confabulados. Right. <laughs> it's the conspiracy teach, yes, conspiracy, right. Yeah, they, they, they conspire, they- Conspire. The it's solution a complot. is when the person uh, take um in the generally not good decision <laughs> <laughs> they take a decision together yes see, okay it, that's a collusion it, okay it's a, it's a term very common in the fraud it's a very common term in fraud repeat is a very common term it's a very common term in fraud in fraud yeah excellent i know i know okay so uh it is not only Questioning about bravery, 
theft and collusion. It mainly, oh, what? It mainly about relationship. What are we missing there, Adriana, Ada, Adela, Carla, come on. It mainly about. Maybe it is mainly. Perfect. It is mainly about relationship. And what about there? About relationship. It is mainly about. Our relationship. Our relationship. Our relationship between customers, supplier. And, and here I should say customers, suppliers, and stockholders. Ojo, si comienza una a, de, a desglosar uh, partes en el enunciado, si empiezan con plural, continúan con plural. Between customers, suppliers, and stockholders on one side and managers and subordinates on other side. Mm. I think it sounds Others. better like on the other side. On the other side, correct. The article must be there on the other side. On the other hand, sounds better. Okay. Les está gustando el ejercicio muy aburrido. Okay, but come the on. Style of the, the style of the redaction uh -huh. is good, teacher. Yeah, this is the best way you can learn about redaction and, and, and um, also grammar in context, you know, but help me, everybody, come on. Let's see, a reason to behave ethically. Maybe reasons to behave ethically. Um, let's see, who would like to read? Who was reading before? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, Carla? Maybe? Really? Yeah. Okay. Reason to be, be have ethical. View as uh, internal people ethical behavior improves the world's environment and motivates the employees to do better. Is also a book. A book? A book? Uh, mm -hmm evoke a sense of a sense of pride and improved company image in the eyes of employees oh good you correct in it employees <laughs> that's right it has to be in plural okay uh, that's right okay let's stop there <laughs> view as a internal people ethical behavior what, what is missing there There are two errors just on that first sentence. View as an internal people ethical behavior. <laughs> Bien, ¿quién me puede traducir esta primera mm. oración? View as an in, view as, a as inter an internal. There is as an and, uh, and yeah, after yes. internal, after, before uh, internal, before internal <laughs> yeah, the article, the article is, is not the proper one. Okay, view, now view, si traducimos esto de view as an internal people ethical behavior. Como visto desde el, eh, visto. visto desde el comportamiento, oh. visto. Ahora, Anacel, ver, vi, Visto, right? Eso sería, uh, that's the third form of the verb, the past participle. So whether we say viewed, or decimos viewed, with ed at the end, viewed. or seen, right? It's better which, seen, yeah. Which sounds better, right? Seen as an internal people ethical behavior, comma, improves the work environment yes, and motivates the employees to do better, period. Okay. It also evoke, who can define evoke really quick? What's the meaning of evoke? Mm. Invite. 
invites, yes, that could be a synonym. Yes, it's not from okay. Star Wars, it's not the Ewoks, no, evoke. Okay. <laughs> evoke a sense of pride and improves company image in the eyes of employees. In the eyes of employees. Good job, Carla, yeah, that has to be in plural. Now, what are we saying here? It's basically that, yep, if you transmit this ethical behavior to your employees, it will spread, right, the word. Everybody will behave ethically, right? And they will love the company that will create engagement. Or would you like to work on a company that doesn't tell the truth to the consumers? You know that it won't last forever, right? It's a terrible, com a terrible um, failure. Okay, let's go with the last part of this one. Walter, would you like to read while uh, external? <clears throat> and while as external people, ethical behavior improves the public image of the company and health is over, over the development. Eventually, it links to cultural and behavior for achievement among internal staff of the organization. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Okay, while as an external people, ethical behavior improves the public image of the company and helps in overall development. Okay, um, any grammar errors here? I thought I saw Wilfredo around there. Okay, any grammar mistakes? Yes, an article. The article uh, again, perfect. Article. While as an external people, ethical behavior, mm, here there should be a comma or something. I think a period and a comma, I guess, semicolon. Okay, while as an external people, Ethical behavior improves the public public image of the company and helps in overall development. Eventually, it leads to cultural and behavioral, oh, behavioral, behavioral, behavioral enrichment. Hmm. Not a common word among internal staff of the organization. So it's like redundant you know, reasons to behave ethically. If your employees give good image to other companies, then everybody will love your company and it will be a public thing, you know. Um, I'm gonna jump this slide, let me go to the next one. But in general, these two slides talk about the theory of justice, okay? How managers perceive Ethics, oh, okay, mind this, mind this. Managers impose and enforce rules fairly and impartially. Why do they do that? What does justice has to do with ethics at work? Okay, so three factors that influence business ethics. If you're a manager, you're a human being, and you have individual standards and values, as we spoke before. As a human being, you bring these values to the company. A clear example is if you are Jewish. If you are Jewish and you don't work on Saturday, you don't work on the Sabbath, okay? you rest on Saturdays. So you start working for a company as a manager and you decide that everybody should have Saturday and Sunday off. 
okay, you bring this value, this standard to the company, whether it is good or bad. Okay, and this will also be considered an influence, an influence from you to the company and to your employees, whether it is good or bad. Again, you're bringing your ethics, your values to the company and you're changing the ethics. Okay, other factors that influence business ethics, opportunity, codes and compliance requirements. This is important. This sounds like very um, difficult, but no, it's not difficult. Think, think, codes and compliance. Recently, the call center that I work for, they are not allowing their work, their, their employees to go inside the building in sandals or wearing shorts or wearing pajamas. You cannot get into the building if you haven't taken a shower, for example. <laughs> because it's clear, right? When you get to, to work without taking a shower, you're like, I'm oh, going warning, right? Right. That's unethical behavior. So those are codes, dress codes, okay? Compliance requirements that you must follow. So managers, they can take the opportunity of implementing this ethics, you know, through these um, codes of conduct or dressing codes as well. And all of those lead to the same thing, ethical or unethical. And these are always choices in business. Lastly, uh, well, there are three models of management ethics, in moral, moral, or amoral. So let me see. Okay. Wilfredo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Doing great. <laughs> nice to hear that. Thank you. Thank you for being back with us here as well. Okay, Wilfredo, what do you understand or can you read the first dot as well? Nora. Mm -hmm. Um, recognize, recognize, recognize the ethical issue involved and choice to do wrong thing. And I, I guess, teacher, that morality is when you have uh, good values, for example, mm -hmm. you you are going to not do uh, something um, bad, for example, thing bad. And I, I was heard you about the last slide mm -hmm. when told about managerials Eric mm -hmm. and I guess that it is like uh, integrity because right. uh, you have to do right and I, how do you say in English te estén viendo or no? whether somebody's looking or not Somebody's watching or not. And that's true. Whether somebody's watched or not, you have to do right. Uh, okay. okay. And then um, in moral, I guess that it is, um, it is opposite that. Than, opposite to, opposite yeah. to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see, recognize the ethical issue involved and this is wrong, right? Choose to do wrong thing. Because it is this is your decision, teacher. Because I I I I, I know if that thing is bad, but I, if I do I do it, mm -hmm. I, I I I I how can I say you um negligent. You're negligent when? When I think I I I do bad thing, uh, if I know that it is it is bad, 
Qué cosa hay, hay, hay And go. then we Bye. start, then we go with the dilemma. Thank you, Wilfredo, totally. But then we go with the dilemma. Yeah. And I'm going to stop sharing because it's about to, um, I have to go with the attendance, but think about this, Wilfredo, and I will okay. ask you again. What will you do if you find out that one of your employees lied lied on the application, on the job application, and he or she is under age? This person is 17 years old, is missing six months to become 18. But But you know that this person has a big necessity. It's very poor and he or she is working with you under seven, I mean, under 18 years old. So think about it. Would it be moral or unethical to continue with this person in the job position? So before we, we you answer that with Fredo and everybody, okay. let me do the attendance first. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Presentation. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Cantames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Her audio is not connecting. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Here tonight. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susie is the one at Chivo Pet, right? Hernández. I think, yeah. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, so going back to my example, uh, man, you have a child working for you. What are you, what are you gonna do? It's just six months, I mean, but he needs the money. It is hard, hard decision, teacher, because when, for example, in many companies, um, when when they are hiding, they had an interview with the uh, with the new people. But when when they lie in in an interview, for example, sometimes I have to say not because uh, always there are another filters then if if i approve the application for example i'm going to be on problem i'll be in trouble repeat i'll be yes. in trouble i will be in trouble i'll be in trouble okay everybody else what would you do you have a child working and you didn't know and you just realized But adding a little bit more, the guy is a geek. He's smart, he's smart. He knows a lot and he's working fine. He's missing six months to become 18. What will you do? <laughs> oh my God, come on guys, what will you do? This is the part interesting. This is the interesting part. <laughs> interesting related to the the the, the moral situation. And the moral. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because each person, the how reflection or thinking about the 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 reaction is different, teacher. What do you mean, Anna? Say me that the the reaction of who. In, when you are present mm -hmm. in a specific the moral or ethical situation, yes, 
your answer about that situation depend depend of yourself. Your, yeah. Okay, your, so let me let me put it through the through the example. It's not the same right now that we're thinking about overall the situation than facing the situation right now. It's like Wilfredo comes to me and says, hey, Rafa, you know what? Oscar is 17 years old. And we just realized, I'm like, oh my God. He said, it was is gonna come and oh my God. No, 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 fire him. That's a, that's a raw decision. That's a easy decision. But then Wilfredo goes like, man, but the guy's smart. The guy is so good with the computers. I mean, he's so smart. But it's possible it is a stereotype. Yeah. It's a stereotype? No, I mean, I mean, we're proving, we're proving that he's good. He needs the money. And he's about to be 18. What do we do? Let's and see. What happened that the, the young people is, what do you say? It's not only a smart or intelligent, it is the... Uh -huh. How do you say the, the the objective is it's not wise teacher or wise is right. Yeah, wise is right. But there's a difference. It's a, it's a, there's a difference a, between being knowledgeable and being wise. Because kids nowadays are very knowledgeable but not wise. So, Rosa? It's so difficult the situation because I for me in, in this in this case. Uh, this management ethics <laughs> is the moral and the moral and the moral it's come to me <laughs> and I say okay do the right thing or do the <laughs> wrong thing <laughs> it's it's so difficult I think it's I think difficult it's, so difficult. it's mm. difficult okay so there's the model recognize recognizes the okay. ethical issue involved and chooses and choose. to choose. do the right thing to do the right thing okay so but what is moral i mean this is uh the problem with ethics ethics guys is just making the decision what is good or what is wrong let's look at the last example the last model a moral do not consider the ethical implications of an action or beliefs that Ethics are irrelevant. Okay, and this is like the way a lot of people act, you know, react in El Salvador. Because the example that I'm giving you is a, a real example in our country. Some managers, some business owners play, they listen, they play with the law. And there is something called carnet de minoridad, right? So you have your basically doing, and I can hire you. I mean, the law says, the law says that as long as I stipulate on your contract that you are underage, you know, you have your paperwork, you can bring a letter from your parents that is okay for you to work, then we're fine. And it's okay, it's true. Based on the law, you can work when you're 17 with all this paperwork. It's the same as driving, driving in El Salvador, 15 years old, if you pay the insurance, you can drive a car, it's okay. So the same thing, but is it ethical? No, it's not ethical. I mean, it. okay. Somebody can be very mature. You know, some kids, my son, my son is very mature, but I will not put him to work yet not yet i don't know it's maybe epic. but the pen of the the uh, policies the company the, policies the company policies for example it's possible that the company has a program for you a uh, practice for the young people. Excellent. Yes, it's, it's good, teacher. <laughs> it's a good initiative. Yes, it is a good initiative. And let me tell you, I started working 
when I was 16. Maybe part-time. As a waiter. Is good? Is as a good? good? But before, but it, send me, what, what was your grandma or your grandpa's advice? Aprende un oficio, mijo, because later. Yeah. If, if God, como es que somos se diría es primero Dios, pero first God, you're not going to go through this, but if you don't go to the university, at least. No, I, 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 you will know how right, to. Teacher. Yeah, it's right. It's right. But this is my point, teacher. The, the, it's situation is possible. The situation has different, um, different okay. view or different con of views. Yeah. Mm -hmm. context. Mm -hmm. And it's possible, in, in my opinion, there are not the direct answer, yes or no. But depend. It depends on this. This it little chart. This, this little chart. This. <laughs> this chart explains what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What is legal <laughs> yeah. and ethical? You know, it, in in business, this is something that you have to have present at all times. The law. What does the law say? What does the law say? What does the law say? Okay, if I can go through the law, you know, and help this person, yeah, I will do it. Okay, can we have children working for us? If the law allows it, then yes, let's do it. It is ethical, but illegal. Uh oh, it's ethical. Let me the put other, other uh, topics, uh, and you say deep drop. Uh, Topics, for example, the very, abort, the, very profound topics, yeah. profound In topics, specific uh, countries, the laws, the law allow, allows, mm -hmm. allows abort, abortion, abortion. It's yes. Okay, is legal? Yeah. Is ethical? But. You got it. You're totally that. That's a clear example outside the company, but inside the company. Let me give you an example. A police officer arrests a group of four, four um, teenagers. A police officer arrests a group of four teenagers. One of these teenagers is his son. Okay, and they were all with drugs, you know. What what must the police officer do? If he lets his kid go, what what will that be? Is that ethical? No, okay, is it legal? No. So it is unethical and illegal. Hmm. Now I have problems with the green one. Legal, uh, no, wait, ethical, but illegal. Hmm. It, it is ethical to help somebody at work. Oh, oh, oh. Immigrants in the United States, so many immigrants are in the United States Many Americans are helping them to work. They pay them like a normal employee, but they don't have papers. They don't have a green card, a green card. So their ethics is help el prójimo, right? Help some another human being, but even though it is illegal, that's a clear example. This, this part. It is complicated for the juice. Have to choose. Juices, juices, juices. Mm -hmm. To judge? Oh, for judges. Judges. For yes, judges is the, diff the most difficult part, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, an immigrant with five children, you know, my God. And they have to send him back to El Salvador. Oh, my God. That's the that's... No, treatment, teacher. Yeah. The treatment of the immigrant is. Okay. All right. 
lastly, legal but not ethical. Legal but unethical. Legal but unethical. Can you think about an example that could be legal but unethical? Should we go back to the children working? Hmm. Hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. in, for example, in the lab, laboratory, laboratory, mm -hmm. yes, uh, uh, the science, scientific, maybe uh, experiment to animals. Exactly, Wendy. Totally. Some countries consider that legal, but it's not ethical. Yeah, for the fabric, the makeup, or the medicine. Yes. I just, I don't believe that. I don't believe that when they say they they test the lipstick with monkeys lipstick. or yeah. why not? Nah. <laughs> oh my god! So I hope you you have understood this little chart. Let me go to the last. Um, part here but really quick going through this approaches to ethics we have the conventional approach and this tells about your culture in our country we are based on faith right uh, so we will be on the on the principal approach which is religion and society but the conventional approach is the rules that we form okay should be acceptable accepted by the society keeping in mind about the culture. So this is what raises you in your environment, not your family, okay? That's the conventional approach. You behave based on your culture, on your society. The one that we follow in El Salvador most likely is the religion. Religion and society. Religion because we are a religious country. I mean, everybody here believes in God, right? In El Salvador. And society, because we are definitely educated based on the principle of our constitution, which is the last one, the law approach. The rules formed should be legally acceptable and should not violate any rules of the constitution. So basically, <laughs> we are ruled by the constitution laws going to school you have to learn about your country you have to learn about ethics how to behave in the society okay and I, I just want to reach this part which is today's topic basically benefits and drawbacks of behaving ethically Let's go with the benefits first. Um, let me see somebody who hasn't read so far. I don't know. Uh, Walter Red, Gabriela, would you like to try again? Okay, uh, benefit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, higher re revenues. Demand from the positive consumer support, improved brand and business awareness and re recognition, better employee motivation and recruitment, and new source of finance, uh, for example, ethical investors. Hey, good job. Example given. <laughs> example. E.g., uh -huh, e example given. You may find that as I.E. as well, in example, and only those two, example given or in example. Exactly, yes. So benefits of behaving ethically in the company are those. Now, if you notice, there's always a positive impact towards the company, whether it is on revenues, you know, because consumers prefer a more ethical company definitely the brand and business awareness and recognition the same thing you know the consumer goes like oh my god they are they help the poor uh for example let's say coca-cola coca-cola helps the poor 
They have programs with scholarships for kids. You know, it's amazing. Better employee motivation and recruitment. Fool. I mean, if you have an ethical company, everybody wants to work in your company. Everybody knows about your company and your employees believe in your company. So there is employee engagement. There's employee engagement. And the last one, new sources of finance, of course. I mean, and this is another topic, uh, finance ethics, right, Carla? Financial ethics. If your company is always paying on time, you are never late with your payments as a person or as a company. Financial institutions will go like, man, yes. Do you need money? Yes. Do you need money? Let me give you money, okay? Let's invest in your company. Makes sense, right? Let's go with the possible drawbacks. First of all, what is a drawback? A drawback. Come on, what is a drawback? The opposite of benefits. When some when something is unacceptable, unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Okay, it's negative. Yeah, true, true. Let's look at the possible drawbacks. Rosalina, would you please read? Okay. Higher cost. Cost. Example given. Sourcing, sourcing from pay trade. Suppliers greater than lowest price. Higher overheads. Example given. Training and communication of ethical policy. A danger of building up false expectations. This is more complex, right? Let's see. Let's learn some new vocabulary among these words. Thank you, Rosalina. Let's see. Fair trade. Well, that makes sense, right? The, the, the root word is fair, fair. And trade has to do with commerce. Intercambio, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Comercio justo, fair trade, fair trade. Sourcing for fair trade suppliers rather than lowest price. So your costs are higher. Why? Because your suppliers don't believe in you. You never pay on time. I mean, but you say you do, and that's unethical, right? Oh, the government, for example. Oh, man. The government always asks for 90 days, right? They always go like 90 days on credit, not 30, not 60, 90 days. And they pay on the 120th day. Am I right? <laughs> okay, so higher overheads. What's overhead? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Accounting. Overhead is um, a FICE. Fixed cost. A fixed that, cost. Fixed. Sorry, fixed mm -hmm. cost. Um, that the um, in a project, for example, when there is a overhead, there is a specific per percentage mm -hmm. percentage mm -hmm. that the the project a uh, incur in the cost for the facilities, for the administrative pro activities. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not specifically okay. determined uh, on the budget, but yes, you must include it, right? You yeah. must include it. The overheads are always there. Now, in this example, if you are um, ethical for some reason, uh, you will have higher costs let's say higher costs on training and communication of ethical policy so in other words it's like training everybody and this is true i mean if you want to um build an empire you have to invest a lot so this is part of it and the last one a danger of building up false expectations why is there a danger of building up false expectations if you're ethical at work? 
Integrity. Exactly, integrity. Because we're humans. Imagine this, you go around your company and you tell all of your employees how good person you are. And you go like, hey, if you need anything, just knock at my door. I'm the owner, I'm the owner of the company, right? Knock at my door, just come whenever you want. If you need money, if you need a friend to talk to, is that good expectations? Positive, I mean, true, true expectations. And then you go to the office and you go like, hey boss, you know what? My wife left me with the three kids, okay? And I'm all alone. And the boss goes like, what? Go, get out of here, talk to someone else. That is not in integrity, okay. Good, so. We have talked about ethics, moral, so many examples. Now it is your turn. How many are we? We are 13 on this class today. So we could do four, three groups, three groups of four. The only thing you have to do is come up with three examples of unethical behaviors at work, things that you consider, okay, who is it, Kenya, it's raining in the pop, okay. Um, so what, what are three things that you consider unethical and what is it, what are their opposites? For example, uh, the example that I gave you, right? Having children working, and this is very a, a very common practice in India. I don't know if you are aware, some shoes, for example, are manufacturing in India, and it is true, big factories, and you will only see kids, children, you know, working in those big factories. That's unethical, right? Or is that illegal? Both things, okay, legal and unethical. So what would be the right thing to do? How would you resolve this situation? How will you resolve this situation? That simple. Just give me an unethical practice at any workplace, you know, an example. And what will you do to correct it? Okay. If possible, if you have had a bad experience, an unethical experience at work, for example, your boss getting to work very intoxicated. Is that unethical or illegal? That's happiness teacher. <laughs> yeah, when, when, and you know what? When he's drunk, he's happy all the time. When he's not drunk, he's so upset all the time, right? But intoxicated the teacher, for but... the pollution teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just tell me, happy. Okay, okay drinking, <laughs> drunk, drunk. Yeah, drunk, okay, he arrives okay. drunk. That's okay. illegal. That's illegal even for the boss. Okay, so let's go in small groups. Think about three examples and their solution, okay? Si se entendió, alguien tiene alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? No, teacher, y cuando llega el grupo, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Okay. Come on, guys, let me see these groups. Fedor, Selena, Edwin, okay. Walter, Nelson, Carla, and Patricia, okay. Wendy, Adriana, Gloria, and Pamela, okay. Sounds fair. So let's go and work together, please. Work as a team.
<laughs> Kenya, did you? Oh, yeah. Let me send you to a group right now. Let's go. Pame, Pamela, hello. Hello, Pamela. Three examples of um, ethical practice. And, and, we, we, and we give solution. Maybe at the topic, the, I don't know, how do you say? In artificial intelligence, maybe? Intelligence artificial or just a, for what? The CN. Sorry, so you mean like, um, I don't, I don't understand very well. What, what do you, what do you mean with that? Like using artificial intelligence? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> oh, what was the example you, you were giving us before? Okay. Hello. <laughs> we don't have ideas today. <laughs> Come on, what's wrong with everybody? <laughs> Think about something that is not right to do at work. And as you have seen, that will be unethical. I mean, remember that ethics are values. So stealing is unethical. Uh, yelling, yelling at your coworkers, saying saying bad work. words at work. Okay, all of those are. Teacher is oh, uh, uh, don't have any any topic uh, in, or in the inside the work. Example in, in inside the world. Repeat, please, Wendy. I didn't get it. Um, the sample. Mm -hmm. uh, we make sample uh, whatever topic or inside in the world. Yes, you can make it up or inside your job if you have an example from your job. That's okay. Or you can just make it up. Inventarse, right? Okay. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, but let's do it. Maybe I don't understand. Uh, maybe, uh, for example, when a co worker. On ethical. On ethical. Okay, and number one, it is not ethical to make it a habit of being impunctual. Impunctual. Mm -hmm. Um, punctual. Um, punctual. Um, punctual. Okay, thank you, teacher. Other, other example? Um, not follow rules of coexistence. Tell me, tell me. Not respect the rule of coexistence. Okay. Okay, uh, an, ex an example of that? Uh, for example, take a, take a, uh, um, it's very common 
eh, take a, ay, a glass. A, 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 ¿cómo se puede decir? Cuando te toman tu tazo o tu vaso, que no respetan esa... Oh eh, que, ay, ¿Cómo puedo explicarlo? When somebody else uses your belongings, like your cup or your, uh -huh. your toothbrush. Oh, to, in, in the office, we don't have to brush teeth. Hey, <laughs> how do you how do you brush your teeth after? No, eating? no, because it's is a is a personal. It normally is in your gaveta o, o, o tu cartera, no sé. Pero normalmente en las cocinas de las oficinas en la área común están como la taza de uno su vaso. Y yo tengo la mala suerte que siempre me agarran mi taza y ando peleando que no me la agarren. That's my point. Ajá, es como esa, no sé cómo, cómo poder explicar. Um, yes, when somebody uses your cup or your things at work and they don't tell you anything. Um, um, Other uh, when it says that smoking is provided. Prohibited? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is prohibited, yes. And what? Somebody does it? And, uh, some, this, and so, someone does it at work. This is possible. Uh, Take and use another partner's cup or glass. Cup or glass, yes. Or okay. personal, personal belongings. Hmm? Ah, person. ah, yeah, personal. Uh, Walter. Tell me, tell me. Do you uh, take an example? Yeah, because he yeah. was stolen about 10 years at the company. Thing. He had been stalling for 10 years. Yes, it was Could a you, loss. It was a loss about. It was a, it was a loss about 3,000. No, 300,000. 300,000. 300,000. Yes, it's possible in, the, in that time. And we make. And, and they, immediately, we, immediately, we make an inventory. Oh my God, it was a mess. Imagine. And he, he yes, it, it's possible. It's possible for the level. It's mm. possible because um, without control. Yes, yeah, without yeah. control. He control, he control all the system. Oh, yes. And he makes it's, everything there, that he there wants. There is no cementation of function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the other point, in the other point is the excess confidence. Yes. So Rosalena, what yeah. did you do when you find out that he was a stalin? Oh my god! I say, oh my do god! You to, do you talk to your boss or what? What will you do? Yeah, I, I, I come, I, I, I look something real, something does something that doesn't. How do you say the soon? I don't know. And I, I, when was the time, the lunch time for him? Mm -hmm. I go to the warehouse and I mm -hmm. check the serial, the serial numbers of the, the something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, oh my God, it was a, like a hormiguero. <laughs> oh. It was terrible. And I say to my boss, oh my God. Uh, Here so the, is the solution, the solution that you give the, to this problem, do you talk to your boss? Yes, and, I and, tell to and, my and, boss. And you, and you tell him that you discovered this guy was a starter for almost yes, 10 years? something, yeah, something. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah. he confessed me. He, okay, I'm doing this from, and he went, and I'm he doing went to these things. And no, they called the police? No. No, because the police uh, tell us, you see him? No, no. Yeah, evidence? Any no. evidence? Mm, no, 
because the police needs that uh, we catch in the act. The act. Not oh talking, oh, he's robbing. No, we, we need to catch him in the act. Maybe. So he, uh, he was very flagante. smart. He in was flagante. very smart. Flagante. Stalin. Yes, yes. Imagine we, we went to the police. Yes, it's because you need you need to have evidence at the time. Yeah. You're going yes, to but someone. it's possible to open the the legal case. Oh yes. But almost almost the same thing happens to me. And actually, um, when I saw those guys installing things from the company on the warehouse, and I really talked to my boss, and I'm I'm saying, look, uh, I saw these guys uh stalling things from the warehouse. And this is not the first time that I saw these guys doing this. This is like the third one time. And you, and he said, are you sure about this? And, and I was like, yes. And OK, thank you for confirming that. Actually, we, we this is the the second person that tell us that those guys are stalling things from the warehouse. So the solution was that we called the police and they catch, they caught them in cameras. And there were like, and then the police come and they arrest them, and mm -hmm. probably uh, they accuse for for robbery. Robbery, yes, from uh, private property, and mm -hmm. they went to jail. They went to jail. Oh, now. Like, really? In that um, case, yeah. in that case, was a group of people. Was about five, five people. Collusion. Involved, involved in the collusion. collusion. This is the example of collusion. I don't know why people do that. Imagine just stalling something just to be good for a few for a few moments, then you got nothing. Then he when stole, you go, then when you he go, st uh huh. He stole the things and uh, they so sell out the company. They get they obtain the money and they they obtain, and, and probably they don't say it when they when someone stole something they don't when they're going to sell to somebody else they, they don't uh they do get the 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 the, the, the money the, the about, like how do you say no agarran el mismo precio pues Oh yes, it's it's more cheaper. cheaper. Yes, yeah. cheaper. Yeah, you you sell the things cheaper. Yeah, that's what I hate people too. They who stolen things from the cars. Oh. If you go, if you go to the agency, it costs eighty pesos, and they sell it for five. Ah, that's what I call it. Yes, another another example of unethical. It may be uh, when you bought a car and the the people, the person that sells you the car don't, don't tell you if the car is is with something bad. Oh, it's, everything is okay. And you, you go happy with your car. And... The all information about the condition, the real yeah, condition. The real conditions about the car. Yes, there's something. Some, things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay guys i i guess that a good idea or 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 maybe solution could be give to all employees Every every year or yearly, um, ethic police about and they have to talk about stall robots. Yeah, robbery oh, maybe. Yes, or um, all those sobornos, for example, in my company. Training, training, Wilfred. Yes, it is a good idea. Give give some training about that because many people. Um, Edwin told us that they stole something and they go to the uh, over yeah. there and buying so cheaper than the real price. Yeah. But then the, it is it is a it is a, it is dangerous for, for all company because they have 
Um, Perdida. How do you Lost. Take it? Lost. 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 Imagine in that case we have the merchandise, but in the case that uh, some, in the case of the banks, when people rubber rubber money, imagine. Yes. So well, now nowadays everything has changed a lot because no one wants to to make a a, a robbery or like, oh, because yeah. no, no one wants to go to jail because the situation right now the the, yeah, the so barbarinas are so full, the, full <laughs> yes. of people. I so think that people people, people think twice about. When exactly. people think twice, people, I think the, 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 did the, you lo know, the law um, today respect. Did you, you know did. about the triangle of the fraud? Triangle of the fraud? What is that? Mm -hmm. The about if for a fraud, a sausage, para que suceda un fraude, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's necessary mm -hmm. motivation. Mire, other, uh, other example is um, when the boss not respect the co workers. Mm, um, specific, 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 specific. Uh, with woman, with a woman. Mm. If a uh, is um an 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 ethical practice. Ethical. Is is you respect the the female gender? Oh, well. I don't know. Maybe the, the other example is more specific. Oh, I yeah, tengo battery in my telephone. And in that case, if you were in that situation, what would you do, Adriana? Because I have seen like many people saying, for example, here in El Salvador, um, that for as you said, um, probably you have a boss that he is like, how do you say, acosar, har harassing you, something like that. Bullying? <laughs> so bullying, no, probably it could be. Yeah, it's like related with that, or but no, or moving or sex. Talking. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, like his is talking, um, or as you mentioned, bullying, you know, not respecting you. But basically, oh, I would say because you are um a woman, a woman, right? I'm confused about that. Um, but what would you do in that case? Because most of um women are like, you know. Um, of not losing the job here in El Salvador because it's really hard to get another one. Um, they are not Thank able you. like to say anything. Um, what would you oh, do in that uh, case, Adriana? What do you think about it? I think it is very important that the company may a group um, or or um, and the human resource. And, and give a support for two. Two. In my case. work, we have a political open door. Uh, An open door policy. Open. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Open door policy, and we can go to the. Pre Human resource, and mm -hmm. we can um open the the political the, the 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 legacy teacher political I don't know 
You can. <laughs> we can open. Open the door of the the boss or. No, it, it, the name is open it's when you open you, their policy. Yeah, when you start the, the process, open. You can open it's a the case. same program. Yeah. And this is a, a, a political. Mama, it's a policy. It's a policy. <laughs> policy, policy, policy. Uh -huh. So may the policy, may the program, and for support. Education program, maybe the uh, education program for. Did you repeat política, please? Or, or... No, 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 but I mean, política de trabajo, the uh -huh. company policies, policy, okay. policy, Poli policies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. But politics, it's something different. Politic, politics. Okay, it's policy. Como policy, yep. no. Or the 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 here are uh, the same to pol policy. <laughs> it's a politic, Politics? politic, a political situation, a politic situation. Okay. Uh, in the in the country, for example. Uh huh. Politics. Yeah, okay. the, the science of politics. Okay. okay. So. I just want to hear your examples. We only have like four minutes. So, and by the way, tonight I'm staying with Susana is not here, I think. So I'll stay with Walter. If Walter has 10 minutes, where is Walter? Walter Mauricio, let me know. Okay, I need to hear your examples of um, unethical behaviors at work and how would you correct them? I could give you a lot of unethical behaviors that I have seen, like people eating pupusas while they attended the store. Okay, I think I will start <laughs> with the example that uh, Wendy was providing us before. Um, so she said in her company, almost all the time, well, all the time, they are not allowed to accept like um, any kind of gift or rivalry, right? Um, because it's not ethical accepting, uh, it can be money, gift, anything, right? Uh, so they have suppliers in their company that are working with them um, and they are not allowed to do that. Now, um, the things that they have been doing to you know, try to correct that, uh, first of all was like, um, proceeding with a kind of education with the old employees um, to provide the information, probably what are the pros and cons of that or what it can bring to the company, like the uh, consequences, consequences, right? The second one, um, yeah, consequences. 
So yeah, they are always like applying it to the job, uh, applying this situation, these policies to the job. And they like two times in, a, in the year, they are signing um, a, how do you call this? Like an ethical political paper, something like this. Um, and they have it like, you know, controlled. So the employees are, are aware about it. Now, um, just a second example that we were talking about, it is, uh, for example, when in your workplace, you have a boss that is um, harassing you all the time. So before, I remember most of women were not, uh, you know, like uh, being brave to, to inform about that to the management, because sometimes management team or manager in probably another area, you know, things like that. Um, we're not like uh, accepting that maybe because they were like working more with the managers. I, I don't know how to say that. It's like um, always like a fact um, that you're trusting anyone else. Now, uh, so right now, nowadays, I feel like uh, women are having like more, you know, decision and that we can go ahead and go and talk with the man, with the uh, human resources and explain the situation so they can provide us some ideas, you know, things like that that we can do in order to control that and they create can create new policies as well or plans for that. So that's what we were thinking about it. <laughs> that's harassing, that's stalking a co-worker that's not allowed in the company. Right. Um, I got you. Homework, Kenya. You have four areas of improvement on everything that you said. So review the video again. Just everything that you said, you have four details, very small details, things that you could have said differently. Um, one mispronunciation and I didn't type it because I was paying attention to you. Beautiful. Great job. Great job. Okay. Just one more person, 30 seconds, 30 seconds to Mars. No. Okay, I'm staying tonight with Walter Mauricio for 10 minutes. If you have 10 minutes, Walter. Yes, teacher. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. <laughs> Don't cover his mouth. That's okay. That's unethical. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. No. 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 What? <laughs> Where's Gabriela? <laughs> Ana Selmi Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdame. Here. Thank you. Hey, Gabriela got disconnected. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Presentation. Thank you. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She got disconnected. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Presentation. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. She was not with us tonight. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Yeah, sorry. There you go. Okay. I... Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. See the importance of having your camera on. Don't turn off your camera. Okay. You will fall asleep. See you tomorrow, guys, for Friday. Don't miss tomorrow's class. Good night. Bye -bye. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, Mr. Mauricio Morales, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> I'm fine. And the company, uh, and this guy in Norway, I had a lot of work. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm preparing a, a new temporary uh, for the new years. Okay, hmm. a teacher. Yes. I I remember and talking about another 
another another model and, and uh, I need to and I need to exit the comfort for the practice the the English for the moment uh, I I am uh, how do you say stunk stunkado I'm stuck I for the moment I feel it's stuck <laughs> is a uh, uh, the new uh, the new words uh, is very complicated uh, it's not uh, complicated it's not complicated it's it's not complicated no 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 it's not complicated you just need to ah, find yeah. right. lo que necesitamos hacer Walter número uno no estresarnos número dos hallar un método que nos funcione lo más sencillo y recible puede ser algo algo extremadamente funcional y se lo digo por experiencia a muchas personas muchos alumnos cuando ven la, la metodología que yo ocupo o, o esto de los ejercicios de ser positivo negativo pregunta creen que es un chiste creen que dicen, no está bien fácil yo mejor me voy a TikTok a ver videos de gramática en español y todo y entiendo <risa> En serio, muchos estudiantes creen que, que es algo risible, pero la realidad es que más que todo con los adultos, nosotros pues tenemos un grave problema y es que estamos muy ocupados, demasiado ocupados, tan ocupados que nuestro cerebro queda todavía ocupado en la noche y le sigue dando vuelta al trabajo en la noche. Sí, correcto. Sí, o no? este, Entonces... sí, sí. Eh, yo quisiera, vaya, por lo menos, creo que me serviría si yo por lo menos... Hago una lista de unas 15 o 20 preguntas de diferentes, no tan fácil como agua taizida, agua de wicked, sino que un poco más complicadas. No complicadas, no 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 no. no, 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 no complicadas, sino que un poco que usamos cotidianamente. Y por ejemplo, yo las ando allí y ando viendo, los repaso y tal vez hasta. Lo que, para... lo que va a ocurrir es que se va a encontrar con lo que usted mismo me ha dicho ahorita, el vocabulario. Entonces, al hacerse cualquier pregunta ahorita, lo que le va a ocurrir es que las ideas no van a fluir rápidamente. Uh -huh. Es lo normal. Entonces, ¿pero por qué? Porque me falta el vocabulario. Ahí le acabo de enviar un PDF a su WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ve, revíselo, vea cómo, cómo es la dieta que yo siempre le digo. ¿Por qué es importante eso? Porque así como usted me lo acaba de, de decir, no vaya. La pregunta más común, what do you do every day? <risa> Ajá, y entonces que para empezar eso es presente simple. I wake up in the morning and I take a shower. No, wait, I wake up in the morning. I take a shower. I turn off the alarm. I go to the bathroom, take a quick shower. I get dressed and I leave my house. All of that. Todo eso es presente simple ahora. El problema es que como no lo he estado practicando, ¿sí? Sí. muy probablemente me va a salir. I wake up in the morning. I have breakfast. Y, y así, o sea, una no, no existe la no, fluidez. fluidez. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo adquiero la fluidez? Fíjese que ahora llevé a mi hijo a a su primera clase de taekwondo, al menor, porque es demasiado hiperactivo. Entonces, me sorprendió escuchar que hasta en esa disciplina se escucha esto de la repetición constante. Porque decía, decía el sensei, es que y, y cada patada que ustedes van a aprender, ¿cuántas repeticiones creen que tienen que hacer para aprendérsela? Y los niños, cinco, veinte. <ríe> y le dicen, no, tres mil repeticiones por cada patada para perfeccionarla. <risa> para hacerla bien y todos se quedaron. ¿El que qué? Le dije, no. sí. Entonces me acordé de esto, o sea, realmente lo que no estoy practicando se va arruinando, ya no, lo, ya no le doy seguimiento y no es, no es culpa de nadie, ni siquiera suya. Hay diferentes factores que han, que han favorecido ese problema. En mi caso me pasó también, o sea, no, no se me inculcó tener disciplina, ser ordenado, eh, 
dedicarme a una cosa de lleno. Entonces, falta eso. Y ese es el primer paso. Decir, me, recuerdo, yo... me, me recuerdo que usted, yo le dije, más que a mí no me gustaban mucho los call centers, uh -huh. se recuerda. Y ahora yo he llegado hasta, 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 no ahorita porque me falta mucho, hasta de decirle a alguien, hey, mira, conseguí mi trabajo, voy a trabajar de chueto. <risa> para, para fluir, porque hoy sí lo, lo necesito, porque me va a decir, vaya, vas a seguir esta guía y aquí te vas a ir, porque yo siento que no es igual, pero siento que es como manejar. Cuando a mí me enseñaron a manejar, a mí me enseñaron a meter primera, segunda, tercera, retro, a cómo parquearme, dónde me tengo que detener, cuándo me tengo que detener. Me recuerdo de cuando yo estaba aprendiendo, yo tenía un gran miedo a manejar y de suerte en ese tiempo yo estaba trabajando de noche. Entonces cuando yo entraba, estaba solo. Cuando yo salía, estaba solo. Entonces, cuando yo ya volví al día, los primeros días a mí me daba miedo agarrar de las patas a la gente. Entonces, ahora fue como cuando fui la primera vez al centro. Yo escogí un día domingo para andar en todo eso de metro centro. Ahora usted me dice, mira, necesito, esto me ha tocado hacer, por ejemplo, una vez me tocó llevar a mi cuñada al hospital a como a las 8 de la mañana, a las 6 de la mañana, unos tráficos terribles, y yo a mí eso ya no me da miedo. Entonces, siento que es un poco de parentesco que tengo que practicar, practicar y practicar hasta llegar a un momento que tal vez ya pueda, ya más o menos me pueda. Entonces, es, así funciona el cerebro, Walter, todo es pura mecánica. Entonces es... a veces me dan ganas de hacer eso que le digo, a decirle, hey, de meterme y, pero con un poquito más de avance, ¿no? entonces de meterme. Eso y... sería, eso sería como irse a Estados Unidos y estar hablando inglés todo el tiempo. Lo mismo, lo, su ejemplo. Ahora, eso es un imposible. O sea, sí, sí, sí. siendo realista, no va a encontrar un trabajo en un call center que hable inglés, que le den chance de estar practicando, no se puede. No, pero, no. pero, pero sí, sí se puede lograr autocorregirse. Yo, yo hago mucho hincapié en eso. O sea, lo que usted me acaba de decir, ahora maneja por inercia. Sí. Ya ni cuenta, se da cuando va metiendo los cambios, se está manejando un estándar. ¿Sí? Y, y, y hay, hay lugares así como, yo a veces me he preguntado, no ahorita ni en este tiempo, que lo quiera hacer. Digamos, como ejemplo, yo digo, Ay, yo quiero meterme en algún lugar donde esté gente practicando inglés. Como, como en, en, en internet, o donde puedan entablar conversaciones. Fíjese que acá en el país no, pero hay una aplicación que bueno es una academia igual verdad pero es una aplicación de coreanos que ellos así están aprendiendo ahorita es eh, bien complejo por el hecho de que ocupan un tipo de aplicación algo raro pero eso se puede conectar a cualquier hora del día y le toca a cualquier persona que hable inglés y esta persona le dedica que 30 minutos una hora de su tiempo mientras que esta persona anda en la calle o lo que sea donde se, sea, pasa, se, pone, se, está trabajando. se pone a hablar con usted. Entonces, y algo así, le voy a averiguar bien, pero, pero se, eh, se paga. Yo, pues, yo, sí. yo, ah, se, vaya, se, pero es una, es una aplicación, es una aplicación de un panda, en, de hecho creo que así se llama, vi, vi panda, algo así. Y se, es así nada más, usted se pues, conecta y dice que es nivel básico. Entonces, hay un grupo de miles de personas que, que trabajan porque es poco lo que se les paga, pero lo hacen más por voluntad de ayudar a las personas que están aprendiendo. Sí, sí porque a veces me han dado ganas, digo yo, al salir de este módulo, ya digamos, termino, pero yo sé que me va a faltar mucho, entonces yo le digo yo, al salir de esto, yo quisiera dar ese paso de meterme a algo así, pero cuando le decía del call, del call center, yo le decía hasta gra trabajo gratuito, sin cobrar. <risa> No hombre, mejor ya sabiendo Ahora, vuelvo a lo mismo Si usted logra Encontrar un lugar donde puede estar Practicando en inglés todo el tiempo Lo primero con lo que se va a encontrar Y se lo ha puesto, le ha puesto lo que quiera Que se va a encontrar con ese problema Que le pregunten eh, What do you do? Así en general, ¿qué haces? Uh, y no va a fluir Entonces, ¿cómo corrijo eso? Empieza a preguntárselo en español y después en inglés. Note, note qué tiempo gramatical está ocupando. Sí, y se va, le va a dar risa, pues, porque 
la mejor manera de hacerlo es esto para que las ideas fluyan en su idioma natal, ¿no? Eso, ¿vale? En español, ok, ¿qué hago? ¿Qué hago? Ah, mi nombre es Walter, estoy casado, tengo tantos hijos, trabajo en tal lugar, soy ingeniero, no sé qué. Ahora en inglés. <ríe> y se queda uno. Y que así me pasaba a mí también, yo le comprendo. Ahora, mire, lo positivo es, si usted ya hubo un punto de frustración y dicen, es que tengo que aprender y tengo que aprender... Pues ahí vamos llegando a lo que llama Will Smith el pinino, el pasito para tirarse. Porque eso es todo lo que toma. El valor es eso nada más. Tener los valores, como dice él, de, de, de dar el, el paso. De dar el primer paso y ahí vas. Sí, porque no, 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 yo no me siento así que me vamos a frustrar. Me siento bien, me siento... No, o sea, no lo, tome, no, no, no lo tome como negativo, sino como algo positivo. Ah, no, no. Eso no, es lo claro. que le quiero hacer ver. Si usted ya aterrizó, hey, falta esto, metámosle. Sí. Otra cosa, metámosle. ¿Cómo lo ataco? ¿Cómo lo ataco? Pues así, a los nativos, otra vez. Espérame, ¿cómo contesto esta pregunta? Háblame de tu exnovia. Ah, mi exnovia es bonita, que no sé qué. Ah, estoy ocupando presente simple. Lo voy a hacer en presente simple. A ver, my girlfriend is. Ya. Hey wow. Aterrizar las ideas para que a la hora de que llegue la realidad esta y se conecte esa aplicación o hable con alguien en inglés, uy, ya estuvo, esto ya lo practiqué. Ya, Ay, ya, ya lo tengo, ya. Ya, ya. ya puedo desarrollar segunda, tercera y solo necesito <ríe> ponerle en neutro. <ríe> es lo que hace falta, que en neutro Pero... y va. Que vaya caminando. Y pues sí, que eso, eso es ya el tener un nivel más o menos como el que yo tengo, porque incluso yo, yo todavía me quedo con algunas palabras medio de difíciles, ¿verdad? Y pues, esa es la única manera. So, ánimo, ánimo. Ah, ok. Un poco falta. Sí, sí, thank you. You're welcome. Bien, estudia ese documento y va a ver que le va a servir. Hombre. Good night. Okay. Thank Take you, care. Good night.